Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really easy DIY nail polish stickers and you can do this with any kind of colors or you can do any design on it and it's super simple, anyone can do it and all you need is parchment paper and nail polish. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. First you're going to need some parchment paper and it's just what you use to bake stuff on and I am taping it to my desk to make sure that it's nice and flat so that way it doesn't curl up. And I'm going to be using a black and a sparkly green today so you're going to take the nail polish and you're going to paint it onto the wax paper and then you're just going to wait for it to dry and you want to make sure that it's as big as your nail and you want to make sure that you have it big enough so it is as long as your nail and as wide as your nail. You want to make sure that it will go in the edge. And I made 10 black ones and 4 of the green ones just to make sure that I have 2 extra for each of them because sometimes it might not be big enough or something might rip it. And then I'm going to take a tack and I'm just going to use it to take it off of the parchment paper. And this makes it really easy and do this very lightly. You don't want to like poke a hole in it and I'm kind of keeping it at an angle so it's going on the desk and not really the nail polish it's just kind of lifting it up as you can see and then I'm just going to get a little bit until I can grab it and then I'm gonna grab it and just peel it off and you can use plastic like a Ziploc bag but I find it's not really the same result this is a lot easier but I'm just gonna do that and then once I peel them all off, I'm going to size them onto my nail so I know each nail size and then I'm going to start applying them. So what you're going to do is apply a base coat and whatever base coat you want. And while it is still wet, you're going to take the nail polish and you're going to gently put it on there. You do not want to tap it too hard because once it goes on there, it kind of melts the nail polish a little bit and it will have it bond to the base coat and onto your nail. So you do not want to tap it very hard. You just wanna be very gentle with it so you don't get any fingerprints or smudges. And just make sure that it's just on there and you can kind of fix it later on the edges. And then this is what it should look like when it is dry on the base coat. And then you're going to apply top coat and you wanna make sure that at the cuticle you make it a little bit rounded on there so that way when it comes off it'll have a nice rounded edge and then I'm taking my um, tack again and you're going to take off the rest of the nail polish and this is just really easy all you have to do is just kind of um, poke at it a little bit but once the ba base coat the nail polish and the top coat are all dry it'll be a lot easier to do this and as you can see I'm just taking off the edge and be careful not to like hurt yourself with anything pointy so be careful use a toothpick instead if you want to but you can still hurt yourself with a toothpick so just be very careful and anyways I'm just taking off the edges and it's okay if it's a little bit messy because we can clean that up later next I'm just taking one of my pointed q-tips and I absolutely love these for nail art they are so easy to clean up your nails with and I'm just going to clean up the edges to make sure that it's nice and clean. And this is a really good idea for just any time. If you need it to be for the next day, you can leave it overnight. Or if you need it in a few hours, you can do it in the morning. And then once it's ready to do your nails, you can apply it then because it'll probably be dry by then. And it just makes it really easy and you can just do it in at least 20 minutes which would be like the painting the nails and then more time to dry it if you did it like how you usually do it but it's so fast to do it and anyways I'm gonna stop rambling and I will see you with another video on Monday don't forget to follow me on my social networks and I will see you next time bye